Hey there, buddy Paller here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So first, let me apologize for the last episode. Uh, I think I said in one of the previous episodes, the, the day before that, I had been fighting a migraine. Uh, and when I get migraines, the, the actual migraine itself only bothers me for about four or five hours. But I get on again, off again symptoms for several days, uh, and literally the moment I put my headset on, the best thing I can guess is it kind of squeezes my temples a little bit. The effects of uh, a little bit of the effects of the migraine started kicking in, and I was just I was kind of loopy that whole episode. Uh, but we did manage to kill the Iron King, and I'm doing a bit better today. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so today's episode is going to be a little bit of cleanup. For those of you playing ahead, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to go and get the Claymore. The Claymore is going to be out this path out here. I'm sure some of you might have seen this path, uh, that, that little gap out there underneath the wood, the, the, the roots. Uh, and that's going to go out through and you're going to have to open up the passage by using a fragrant branch of yore, which we have three of now. Uh, that'll access a little path that leads out and eventually comes to a bonfire with three different prongs in it. Uh, if you take the rightmost prong, you're going to end up in a shaded woods, uh, and it's this all foggy area and everything, and if you stay to the hard left in there, eventually you're going to come around to a shrine with a decapitated head in it. That is the vendor for the Claymore. That is going to be our first objective today. After that, I'm going to be going back to the Iron Keep. We have a few items we want to loot there, and we want to do the Belfry out there. Full disclosure, this episode is being recorded offline. I just... I, I, I spend a little more time with the Belfry. It is... If you want to do PvP, it's great. But for recording purposes, it would take us probably two hours to get through that with the luck I've been having constantly being double invaded. Uh, it, one person invades, and within a matter of 30 seconds, another one's invaded. So unless you're killing off the invaders in under 30 seconds, you're fighting... It's, it's a nightmare. Uh, so I'm not going to even bother trying to do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take care of it offline, and then we'll go back online for the next episode. So, for everybody playing ahead, that's your objectives. You're going to go ahead and you want to take care of both of those today. Uh, and we should be able to get through all that in one episode. This episode might run a little bit long, but it shouldn't be too bad. There are no bosses in the Belfry. There is just some loot uh, and a covenant out there. And loot we kind of want to get. Okay, for everybody else staying around here... Here is, um, Belmont, or what is his name? The way you end up is all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now. His name is Ben Hart. That's right, I, I said it wrong. Ben Hart. Uh, and he is using what looks to be the Moonlight Greatsword. There is strong evidence that it's actually not the Moonlight Greatsword, but that's, you know, as with everything in Dark Souls, that is left for interpretation. Yep, there's a guy in here. So, we'll... Hey! That wasn't very nice of you. And it's actually a good idea to clear out these two guys here first. This would actually be a good area to have pyromancy. Uh, some AoE pyromancy we don't have. But we'll be okay. We'll, we'll manage. There's a little bit of a, a gank trap that occurs here. So, we're going to come up here and we are going to use our fragrant brands of yore. I must say, for From Software, this here is amazingly well animated. They really do a good job of making her kind of just come flying off of that. I don't know. It just. It seems very fluid. <laughs> Now, this part here, you figure she'd be coughing or something, but... Yeah. I've been... Oh, petrified. Hard... To... Uh, give me... Now, we kind of ran into this with the, uh, the guy with the ladders, where he screwed up, and basically they recorded certain voice lines, and then they changed the mechanics, and they didn't update it. We're going to find some of that right here. My name is Rosabeth. 
Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. <laughs> Just staring at her with the jerker face. Oh, you're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. She's a hand at pyromancy, but she gives you a prism stone. If you don't know what those are, those were what we used. They were actually used in the original Dark Souls. You can drop them on the ground and they leave behind a sign for a little bit of time. Uh, they were used out by Seath in order to make your way out to the uh, blue slab. I was attacked <clears throat> and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. So, originally that whole, oh, you're that traveler, she was supposed to move outside of this room uh, and then talk to that. And then they, they changed it up, and now... I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But, just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. You can actually see her ear through her hair. Just put it on the ground. Thought it was a glitch I'll there. Into it later. Okay, and there's one time out. So she tells you to put the clothes on the ground, but inside here there's actually an option to give equipment. Now this is going to be our master pyromancer. We can buy from her several different pyromancies. Uh, we can get some items for upgrading our pyromancy, which is the uh, fire seed. Uh, she also has some nice resistance rings. The flame quartz ring can be helpful in the iron keep if you're having trouble with the fire damage. Uh, it's like a good 150 plus fire resist. It's actually pretty good. We will get this in order to help us acquire some of those items out there on those those lava flows. Um, she can also reinforce our pyromancy. Let's go ahead and we're going to give her some equipment. We're not going to give her a helm. That's fine. Let's see. Do we have any uh, we could give her some alone night set. That would look kind of funny. Uh, give her prisoner's tatters. Or well, let's let's uh, we have an extra. Let's give her one of the alone night set. Uh, do we have any doubles here? We have a n double alone night set there. And do we have any double legs? Wonder leather. Do 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 do. We have no doubles there. We'll give her the wanderer le uh, wanderer legs, as those are pretty bad. Uh, I don't want to give her anything good. Do we have an alone knight? Oh, we have two old ironclad. Uh, we'll give her the old ironclad legs. There we go. So she'll put that on and she'll look pretty funky now. Uh, you can give her all kinds of stuff. I, I don't know if there's any gain for this. Now that we are done with her, she will actually go back to Majula uh, and will be available there. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now we have a trap. Basically, when we pull this lever, if we look around up here, uh, there's two doors there and two doors there. We're going to get attacked by some of these guys that were right here. And you might have heard some croaking on the other side of this door is a basilisk. So we got to go ahead and we're going to have to fight our way through this. It shouldn't be too bad, though. However, this is where I said if you have a pyromancy, it could... Oh, man, we're poisoned. And we're dead. I shouldn't have put my shield away. If you have, like, flame swathe or whatever, uh, that can be a good place to use that. Putting my shield away was a bad idea. Oh, and we're all the way back here. Might as well rest here, and then she'll appear. If you look right there by the bottom of the steps there, that's her. Uh, we're not going to worry about that for now. This lady never came here. Hmm. We're gonna have to double check that. I knew you. Uh, repair. We're just gonna repair the ring. I'll be around. And we'll run back out there and take care of it again. Do I have a better weapon for this? This weapon. The, I can't believe we're still using a bastard sword plus four. I never went to plus five. Um, nah, 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 nah. that we can't use. Can't use. Our axe might work. Yeah, let's see. What's our? It's less damage, but it's got a bigger swing. So let's go with our battle axe. Oh, 
Oh well. It's always gotta be something. And now we can actually talk to Benhart. So we'll have a new conversation options with him. Do 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 do. What? Clearing the way. Is your doing, Mister? <laughs> Didn't think you had it in you, pal. No, no, no. It's not like it sounds, you know. It was a pleasant surprise. That's all. Name's Benhart. Thanks to you. I can resume my journey. If we share the same path, I'm sure that we are going to meet again. I'll repay my debt to you in battle. I swear it by my sword. The road ahead's going to be long, but I'm here to help. <laughs> I am in. It's a true man who honors his. I swear it. We can learn his joy gesture. If you keep talking to him, he'll talk. He'll talk about his sword. Uh, I'm not gonna waste the time. Let's go ahead and get back through this area again. Whoops. Whew. I would have thought two hits would have done that. Apparently not. We're gonna have to be careful here. Another try. We do have a little bit of time before that gate opens, so there's a little bit of a window before the basilisk comes. There's all but one of them. Now we're okay. Other than I hear a basilisk coming up behind us. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I shouldn't have put my shield away. I am... I am a terrible two-hand player. I, I'm just... I don't know why I even bother. I, I should always run sword and board or some effect of that. And here is a bonfire. We're not actually going to rest at it. We're just going to light it. As I don't want to respawn everything that we just killed. Uh, then there's some items around here, if I can remember where they all are. Yeah, right here's a chest. Estus Flash Shard. That's helpful. And over here. Nothing. I don't think there's anything ultra important here other than that Estus Flash Shard, but we might as well check. Uh, what do we got? Silver Proud Knight, Human Effigy, that's always helpful. Whoops. I missed my jump. Come on! Ow! What the heck's going on here? Come on. Jump. There we go. And nothing. There's a weird artifact here in the wall. I don't know why I know that. I saw somebody left a note there, and I, I took notice of it. Now, now I can't help but see it. So cheers! Now every time you come in the room, you're gonna have to look at that weird artifact. And nothing else. Okay, so apparently there's just that one room on the left there has the soul in it. Alright, now, out this way we go. And we're gonna come across a few more of those, I don't know, whatever they're called, those poison guys. We just want to be a little cautious. There's one little area that can kind of overwhelm, but it's not too bad. Here, there's a secret little trap. That one dude will just come running. Alright. And no loot. No loot. They will drop their staff. This little area, you want to slow down as there's these guys, and then there's two more up on the left there. <laughs> right there, there's two. And they're going to throw stones at you, because why not? Uh, 
and a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Good, we're starting to get a pretty good stock of those. Uh, we're going to start using them pretty freely. There, there's not really a reason to hold back on them anymore. Here's kind of the one little area you have to be a little careful, is there's quite a few of them here. If you have a good sweeping attack, though, they're not too bad. And I think there might be one more coming down the path. Yeah, there's one more. And now we should be at the shrine where the next bonfire is. Yes! Okay, there is a bit of exploring to be done in this area. Uh, as we can see, if we come up here, there are three paths. Here's the path to the right with the fire, the the uh, the smoke, or the fog. Um, yeah, we have apparently screwed up Pate's quest, because there should be uh, the guy that we let out of the prison cell, the bonfire in the Huntsman Cops, he should be there. This leads to one of the very late game areas, and this leads to one of the a little bit earlier late game areas. Uh, this actually leads out to Dranglick Castle. So, that we will explore those momentarily, but for now we're heading this way. Now, you might remember I told you guys you might want to consider picking up the Jester's Robes. <laughs> that will be for this area. For now, we're probably just going to run through it. I don't feel like it's exploring, but if you kind of look there above the tip of my sword, you can kind of see a, a shadowy body working, th running through the, the trees there. He's moving from right to left. In this area, there's a bunch of these kind of cloaked guys. You can't actually target them, and they can be quite hard to see. And they like to get behind you, and they like to backstab you. So that's where this shirt comes in handy, this chest piece, as it'll prevent those backstabs. Uh, and if they get a good backstab on you, we might survive one hit, but it would be very close to, to one-shotting us. I can see one of them is actually approaching us now. Is he going to come? Yeah, here he comes. And, like, I'm clicking the right stick. You can maybe hear it. I can't target him, though. And there, there's quite a few of them in here. So that's why we picked up this shirt. For the time being, we are just after one item. So we're just going to run through, and we're going to stay to the left. And if you hug the left, you're going to get through the area, hopefully unscathed, and you're going to end up at a shrine. Back up here. With a head on it. And we can talk to the head. First, we're going to pick up this uh, fire seat back here. Leave me be. A light. Business have you here, traveller? You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. Tis rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then somebody killed me. So I thought. I came to and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad, really. Now I watch the days go by and gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things, far removed from war. I've grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You may bear a great burden, don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. But I want to warn you of something. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. My body, wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. My body will show no mercy, 
If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. So, there's some foreshadowing. Eventually we're going to fight his headless body. I learn new things <clears throat> every day. Alright, time, time to speed this up. If I can help. Don't want this episode carrying on too long. So we can learn a gesture from him, which is a decapitate gesture. Very fitting. And he sells us both a great sword and the claymore. And we want the claymore. Yes, we do. He also sells a few other things. He has a ring of soul protection. So this is like the rings that we are wearing. The, the, the ones that are protecting us when we die. The life protection ones. But this one prevents petrification also. Not overly need needed as petrification is not as bad as it used to be. Destructive great arrows, these will destroy any armor that they hit. Uh, these can be great for trolling in PvP. Uh, lightning urns and gold pine resin. Lightning urns are like our holy urns, but lightning. And magic barrier. Overall, we're just here Farewell. for the claymore. May we meet again one day soon. Eventually, we will all be able to summon him as an ally. Okay, to get back out of here, we're going to continue to hug left. And we're going to work our way through here. And... Is it up here? Just continue to stay left. And yeah, here we go. Eventually we're going to come to these stairs that lead up out of the zone and to a bonfire. Which is up here. And then behind here. And for now, we're going to call it quits out here. We don't need to hang around here much longer. Uh, this area we will come back and thoroughly explore later on. But I'm ready for a better weapon. Okay. Clay more time. So where is it? Uh, here? Yes, the claymore. You can see the base, it's 234 base at zero, where our Bastard Sword at plus four is only giving us, uh, what was it giving us? Uh, 287. So if we start upgrading this thing, it really becomes quite nice. And it's got a, a very quick swing with a relatively long range, moderately long, has a great double heavy. So at first it thrusts, and then it does a spin, and it does these back-to-back -back very, very quickly, uh, which can add up to a lot of damage. Okay. I knew you Yep, yep, yep. Um, buy, uh, no, not buy. Actually, we do want to buy and make sure we have bought all of these. Yes. And then, reinforce. And our equipped claymore. Good. And we're going to go at least plus five. There we go. Now we need large titanite shards to progress. Now, you can see we are up to 309 base damage. So we've just gained... What was it? Uh, 280? Whatever it was. I don't remember. Uh, okay. And we'll be good for there for now. I realize we also have never taken the uh, the blacksmith out in Lost Bastille, his items. Let's, uh, let's do a little more cleanup while we got here. Okay, first we want to go to uh, here, the first bonfire out here. As for some reason, the blacksmith's daughter never came back. She's our our stone vendor. So, she still right here? Did we never finish her conversation? Away. Well, I've searched every There we go. Now she's going to move on. We didn't finish talking to her figures. Uh, you can see she does sell 10 large. Let's go ahead and pick up all of them. That'll work. Uh, and she has unlimited of the regulars. So that's I good. It's about time I moved shop. Yep, yep, yep. So now she will be back in Majula. I just did not finish talking to her. And we're going to head to Lost Bastille, Macduff's workshop. Did we give him the... I'm playing so many characters, I apologize. I forget which one I did this and which ones we didn't. Oh, let's also put our, our regular chess piece back on. We were wearing, I believe, the Alva armor set. 70.3. Ouch. Eh, we, we'll have enough to put at one point into um, Vitality if we want to. Flame. Flame. I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the Blacksmith. Sorry about that. All I want is a little flame. So, hand that ember to me. Right now, you imbecile. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll 
fortify your gear. Okay now. So, we now can talk, work with McDuff. Uh, he gives us several different options. First, in here we can buy some very good items. Uh, one of my favorites, the Uchi Katana. It would require 16 dexterity though. Uh, it's still an amazing katana. Uh, he's got Winged Spear, he's got a Scythe, he's got Bastard Sword, we got that. Uh, this Great Axe, we may play around with this in the future. It's It's got a good range and it's pretty fun. Uh, we're also probably, let's see, what are we at on decks? We're at 14. Hmm. I'm tempted to get the Longbow, uh, as it has a really good range of 50, but we'll hold off. Uh, he's got Iron Great Arrows you can buy unlimited of, and unlimited Iron Arrows. He also sells just regular shards and everything. However, what he does that no other blacksmith does is infuse. <clears throat> so this is the new elemental enchant path. So for example, we could take our Archdrake Chime and we could infuse it with more lightning damage. Or we could improve the, 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 the dark damage on it. Uh, so this would increase our lightning spell uses and we may do this. I have to do some testing on a different character before I choose on this. We're not using Dark all that much, so let, let me run the numbers a little bit and we'll figure this out sooner or later. We could also take our new Claymore and we could go Lightning Damage, so we would have a total of 100 or 204 damage combined compared to uh, 217, so we'd actually lose some, but we would gain scaling on Lightning that we're not actually seeing there. So if you look down in the bottom, uh, can I show it on my mouse here? If we go there and then look down here, we gain B lightning scaling. Uh, we currently don't have uh, Claymore plus five, but we lose, we go to down to C where this should be, it's currently already C, so we're losing a little bit there. Dark, we gain dark scaling. Um, let's see here. None of these actually have faith scaling. Or, yeah, none of them have faith scaling. But we'll figure that out. But anyway, so we can do this, and we can always, if we do screw up, you can remove it. In general, most enemies die quick enough that if you're going to do something like this, in my experience at least, either fire or lightning is your best option. To some extent, dark is pretty good. However, for a boss, weapon, poison, and bleed can also be very good. Uh, as bosses tend to live a lot longer, so putting poison or bleed on that where you can build up one of those on the boss can work fairly well. For now, we're going to hold off on that. Let's go ahead and reinforce a few more times. Uh, we're going to do just through the large titan. So there we go. We're plus six. We're going to take this up to plus six. All right. Oh, we did forget to buy one item. We want to buy from him the royal kite shield. It's got very similar stats to the one we're currently wearing, but it's a good bit lighter. So it's better than the Dranglick shield. Well, it's roughly equivalent to the Dranglick shield. So if we, we compare the Dranglick to the Royal Kite, you can see uh, both have 100% block. The Dranglick has better magic damage. This one has better fire or magic mitigation. This one has better fire mitigation, bleed mitigation, all that stuff. Uh, I like this, and it, it weighs a good bit less. It only weighs four compared to six. So there we go. All right, uh, let's get back to work. We've done a lot of running around and got nothing done. Uh, we will go to the Iron Hearth. Oh, actually, we should have gone to the other bonfire first. Um, let's come in real quick. It'll save us some time I'm trying to optimize our, our time here. This episode is very likely going to run long. Yeah, we're down to 30 seconds for that. Doesn't look like we're going to make the Belfry today. Instead, we will loot the items in throughout the keep, uh, and then we will do the Belfry in the next episode. I apologize for that. Hey! Hey! Oh boy! I'm already off to him! And we're in trouble! <laughs> oh. That was not a very good start. Probably not a good way to hurry. <laughs> the Berserker Blade, I don't know if I've ever used that. 
Alright. Come here, where are you? Now I'm now you got me pissed off. This may one shot him now. Nope, not quite. 541. The reason we're coming in this way is we turned off... Oof. I didn't have enough stamina? <laughs> I have to learn a new weapon now. It's been a little while. Been using the same one for so long. So that flaming boar head right... Or tortoise head right there is now off so we can get that item. And that is a key towards the door way back at the beginning of the game by the first boss by the uh, the giant there was the door with the guy with the rapier in front of it this is the key to that door so it all comes full circle do we want to go no we're gonna go the other way gonna go we're gonna teleport back around to the other side rather than clear through there it'll save us a little bit of time as this episode's gonna run long we got trying to think here I know there's a bunch of items out on this fire that I'm skipping. We need to get higher uh, equip loads so I can get the the uh, smelter demon's gear. That'll give us enough fire resist to kind of handle that. I'm not going to try to get into that today. There, you're dead. Okay, let's not get hit by the... Good. And there you can see, he didn't get a chance to break down the floor and send us into the lava. You gonna stay there? Fine. You can stay there. Okay, we're going to drop these guys again, and this time we're going to actually leave it down, as we want the other option so we can get over to that ladder. So we're going to let them die, watch out for the button, and we're going to come around here, we're going to ignore the alone knights, and we're going to climb here. Okay, now up top here, we have a chest. It's a mimic. How'd you hit me? Lightning wing spear, dark armor. And down here, we have another chest. Destructive great arrows. So those are more of the arrows that will bust armor if you hit them. They're, they're great for troll PvP. And there's a boss we may actually use them on. I have to try it in another playthrough first, but there's a boss with a very annoying shield that he uses to summon enemies in with, and I believe we might be able to use those arrows to destroy his shield. Okay, now at the top here we have three alone knight captains with bows. We're going to want to pick these guys off. At least take one of them out. Yeah, there we go. Can I aim that? Uh, missed a little bit. I can't target him, he's too far away. Alright. That's enough of that. And now we're gonna go kick him. I ran out of stamina. <laughs> this sword uses a lot more than the uh, the bastard sword did. All right, simple and spice. Have I ever talked about spices? What spices do? I don't know. And obviously, you guys can't answer me while I'm recording. So let me talk about it. Black Knight, great ask. I loved this in Dark Souls. 
Um, where is it? Where is it? Where's the Black Knight Great X? Old Knight Pike? Oh, there it is. 40 strength, 18 dex. God, I love this thing. <laughs> it's, it's fun. That's a great weapon. Maybe towards the end of our playthrough we might have the stats to use that. Okay. <clears throat> so, I talked about the, the regular version of this ring. Here's how we get it. We're going to take our time down through here, and I'll talk about the spice. So, the Simpleton Spice. If you remember, the vendor actually in this area here, he has a option that is incense. And what you can do with that vendor is you can take him spice, and what he'll do is he'll apply that to a certain magic recipe, uh, one of your spells. And it will remove either the int or the faith requirements by one. So, if you want to create a, if you want to cast spells with a non-int based character, you can use that to, oh, he didn't die, okay, to lower the requirement down and make it a bit more manageable. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds, or simple as it sounds. Okay, here's the trick for this area. You gotta fall down onto the lid of this little cauldron without landing in the lava. What I find is line yourself up with the kind of the, the inside of this chain. You can actually pass through the chain. The chain is not a solid object. Whoa! <laughs> so if we just kind of walk through the chain, we're going to fall and we're going to land right there. And now we can work our way around and pick up the Covenant's Gold Serpent Ring. So that is the rank one of that. Of course, if you buy enough things from the vendor, you don't need to worry about doing this, but there's how you do that. Sword back out, and we're gonna hop down here and kill this guy. So, you can use the Simpleton Spices to reduce the requirement for spells. Uh, so you can take a spell that requires 11 or whatever int, and you can turn it into 5. You know, as long as you have enough spices, you can constantly remove it. Damn it. Alright, he's down. We're about done with this episode. We're going to get over to that bonfire that we never lit, uh, and then we will call it an episode. The reason it's not as good as it may seem, for the destructive-based uh, sorceries, like, say, Soul Arrow and everything, they scale highly based off of your... highly based off of your... Uh, your int. So by removing your int way down low, they you can then use it, but their damage is going to be pretty pathetic because you'll have no int in order to adjust the scaling on it. So while it's it's helpful to equip those, it's best to use them on self-augmenting type sorceries. Uh, say ones like magic weapon or uh, lightning weapon, those type ones that augment you by a certain percentage are your best bets there. But uh, it can be useful. Okay. Here we are. The bonfire for the Belfry Luna. Next episode, we're going to be heading up this ladder and we're going to be clearing that area out. Till then, though, this has been Paller. Thanks for watching.